So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick brief video and I, I hope young Pharaoh and um, what's her name, Golden Beauty, I hope they both see this um, because I was speaking on, you know, I'm very familiar with um, relationships and breakups. I've had many of them. <laughs> so I was um, telling people when they had broke up, hold on, excuse me thought I had to sneeze I was telling people when they first broke up that um, the breakup will get uglier and uglier okay so because actually both of them um, still love each other I believe Pharaoh still loves her more than she loves him okay so don't get caught up in the tough talk it don't work like that in relationships when you've been together and especially when you have children together they both love each other and I believe um, Miss Young Golden is still in love, but she has the, um, I think she has enough sense to um, be disciplined to say no and that she won't go there anymore, okay? Um, from my understanding, her, mother's have, her mother has given her some good advice and um, I've read some good advice from some older sisters given to Golden. So I believe Golden has made up her mind that it's really, really over and she cannot go back down that road again. Okay, now Pharaoh, although he talks tough, he feels he can go down that road again, and he does love her. Um, I had seen also when she shared some text from Pharaoh just recently, I guess a few days ago, trying to come over and get some. But yes, sister, that's a trick. He's only saying this because of a reason that I will get to in a minute. Okay, so don't fall for the tricks, um, young golden beauty. Stay strong. You know what I mean. Um, one uh, one thing I, I will strongly advise you is to um, I know a lot of older women has been giving you advice please listen to them but find you an older man okay because an older man knows men better than a woman will and sometimes women uh, um, implement their personal feelings and what they're going to into discussions when they're giving therapy or feedback or or you know or advice okay so you have to be careful <laughs> i highly suggest you golden get you a mature grown older man to give you feedback and give you an understanding of young pharaoh i still don't think you have the understanding of him his intent and where he's coming from although you know him better than me there's another side that i can give you how men feel okay if you ever wanted to reach out to me my email is thirdixman at yahoo.com. I was a youth counselor for 10 years. You know, I just, I, I've, I've sat down and talked to plenty of youth. That's the age of you and young Pharaoh. Okay? Um, just on some real shit. You know, I just, some for some reason, I just wanted to have a conversation with you and give you some advice. That's my email. T-H-I-R-D-E-Y-E. X M A N at yahoo.com. Third I X Man at yahoo.com. Okay? Um, it's some jewels that I really want to give you that I think you need to know, sister. Okay? So I'm making this video just out of concern and, and help. Simply that. Okay? So I suggest Golden Beauty talk to these older women. Be careful of the women your age, especially the women who, who think the same way you do, have the same beliefs as you. Um, and I'm just gonna be honest. I don't. This. Don't, I don't mean this. The girls your age and your social media friends are confused. Do not listen to them. Okay. Listen to grown folk. We have experience in what you're going through. I have a lot of experience in what you're going through right now. So, I was telling a lot of people when when um Golden and Young Pharaoh first broke up that you guys haven't seen anything yet, right? They broke up. There's a little drama, but drama doesn't begin there, okay? Drama doesn't begin with the breakup. I'm talking about drama that will be dangerous, okay? So, <clears throat> let me give you a little story real quick when um, me and my wife broke up, okay? Um, and we're friends to this day because we've had cooler heads, cooler hits have prevailed um and we wasn't that at odds you know because we were kind of i was kind of an 
uh, um, older than you are right now. But let me just give you an understanding of a man's mindset. When men are in love with you, right, and you've had a family together or had, or had children together, um, especially when you have a child together with a person, they feel that you are theirs for life, okay? There, there creeps in any, a control issue, okay? So I told people, what you would watch in Pharaoh ain't shit. Just wait until she begins to start dating or see other men or just have other men around. Because people are confused just because you have somebody around and you're dating. That doesn't mean that's, that's your man. <laughs> okay. Neither one of Pharaoh or Young Golden should even be considering a relationship at this point. People just need to chill. Okay, if people get back into relationships just to spite the other person or to make the other person jealous and things of that nature. Okay, so whatever anyone is into right now on either side, it's not real. It's for a, a, a nefarious agenda to make the other person jealous. Usually when you go through a breakup, both sides are always wondering, I got to get somebody before they get somebody because they don't want to see you with nobody else first. Okay. So it becomes a competition of that. Okay? Now, I said when you guys break up or when the breakup happens, it's fine. Shit happens. But, once the woman, not per se the man, okay? But once the woman begins to start dating or see other men... That's when young Pharaoh is going to go totally crazy. And this is why you've seen him berserking lately. I've seen a video on your channel, on Young Golden's channel. And I highly suggest you don't do that in front in, in front of each other. Uh, to let the other person know. I'm going to start seeing. People need to chill for a while. Don't get into that competition, that ego thing. Because it's an ego thing. Okay, nobody wants the other person to have anybody, even after the breakup. Young Pharaoh does not want you to have anybody, and you don't want him to have anybody during the initial breakup. These things take at least two years to get over and to feel okay with the other person dating. And Young Pharaoh's case never. But let me continue. So. When young Pharaoh sees you or knows that you will be seeing another man or dating another man or any man around your children, he was going to go crazy. Now, I knew this because it happened to me. I was going to give a scenario. I forgot. When me and my wife broke up, um, we were fine. We were even friendly. Okay. For the first full year, no problems, friendly, wasn't even tripping. I wasn't even tripping on her. I wasn't trying to push up on her and get back with her or none of that. Until she started dating another man. Then whatever was in me started coming out. Okay. That's why young Pharaoh is going crazy. He cannot deal with the fact that someone may possibly be having sex with his ex-girlfriend. What goes through a man's mind is, is his penis bigger than mine. Right? Is he smarter than me? Is he kinder than me? Does she love him more than me? Will she like him more than me? And it's just going, and it's just making the man's mind, especially a narcissist. Listen to what I'm saying. This is not a regular, normal circumstance. This is a narcissist. A, a, a man with a huge ego, ego in a negative way, not the positive ego. Okay? And in his case, it will become dangerous. Because Pharaoh, in Young Golden, you didn't know, but he's always had mental health issues. So a lot of people out here have slight mental health issues. More than people think, and it's very prevalent. Okay, Young Pharaoh has always had slight mental health issues. In this situation, the breakup, and the fact that he knows you're going to be around other men, and that he's seen another man sitting next to you, while you were breastfeeding 
that just burns him up and violence will be coming if cooler heads don't prevail. Listen to what I'm telling you. When a narcissist, I'm not talking about a normal man who may not be a narcissist, knows that his baby mama is seeing another man, <sighs> trust me from my experience and advice and from what I know, it's gonna get dangerous. It will even become times where he will sound soft and sweet and try to be nice just to get close to you or him or play some role and it's part of the art of war we call it deception okay so all this talk about getting back with you was only because he's seen you possibly getting with another man because i've seen the video of the guy now golden that was kind of wrong but you have that right you're a single woman but you're you're when you did that you are just help you're you're, you're enabling him to blow up even more okay you, you 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 and whoever is maybe trying to get at you um golden it's not sincere just tr listen to what i'm telling you it's not sincere they may like you they may think you're a wonderful woman but no young man your age is ready to take on a family you have two young babies there's no young man your age ready to take on that responsibility of you and two babies do not let these guys sweet talk you okay you have you 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 may need to be single for a while and read men closely you're a beautiful girl so they may want to get with you just for intimate reasons it's just to be nice and date and they may like you but a lot of times you young women and women in general old or not they do not see through things clearly you should already know or have a father who's telling you certain things, okay? So anyone trying to get with you at this point is for entertainment, fun, and they think you're cute or what have you. It's not for sincere reasons, and you have to understand that, okay? Don't sit here and think, ah, because you got two little babies right now. You can't just get any old man right now. You're in a position, as Kevin Samuels says, you've taken some value away from yourself. You're a wonderful woman. But young men your age, in their 20s, are not even ready for their own children damn near in these days. Let alone another man's kids. And another man who is crazy. <laughs> so they're not trying to be serious. So don't fall for it, no matter how kind and sweet they sound, young lady. Okay? Now, young Pharaoh will be, going, will be a berserker for the next year, two years. Regarding you. It's driving him berserk to think another man may have sex with you. But this is what young Pharaoh and men like young Pharaoh need to understand. Ain't nobody gonna ruin the pussy. It's durable. Chill out and relax. Y'all exes, if they remain your exes, will be having sex with other men. It's inevitable. Okay? So you have to understand that and get over it. Okay, when I when my when my wife started dating this other man, I didn't even finish the story. I didn't lost my train of thought. <laughs> For a year, I was cool until she started seeing another man. Then I just kind of start going crazy. I was wondering, is he better than me? He's this than me, and this and that. You know, and I was going crazy. I found myself driving all around by up and down her street, looking to see if his car is in the driveway. You know what I mean? What the fuck is going on? Why? Then I start talking about getting back together with her. I didn't talk about that all <laughs> the whole time year until she starts seeing somebody because I didn't want nobody to have her and I wanted her to myself and or I wanted her to stay single. This is what men go through, right? We're territorial by nature. Can't no other lion come in the, uh, 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 come in the walk amongst the pride. No other male lion can walk amongst a male, a male's pride without war going down. We're territorial. Any men that's visiting you, talking to you, or in your presence, in Pharaoh's mind, is it encroaching on his territory. So I would suggest don't flaunt men in front of him to exacerbate his anger. Just do your stuff in private and live your life and be happy. I am one who is dead set against 
people just breaking up or suggesting people break up. You know, I like to suggest people get back together because, cause, you know, I'm not a hater and it's just too many broken families. But in your particular situation, you would probably be, be about the 20% that I would say no. Do not, do not, do not get back together. Okay? Pharaoh will always want to run his own show and it's not compatible with your show. Okay? Matter of fact, do not get with any young man who's talking about polygyny. They're not mature enough to handle polygyny. They don't understand women's feelings enough and are not sensitive enough to deal with a woman in a or women in polygynous relationships. These guys who are young, especially like young Pharaoh, will get cocky and go overboard and does, doesn't know how to respect the parameters because he has no parameters. Do you understand me, sister? Do not ever get back with him. It would be dangerous. You will, never, you will not be happy. He will control you and try to change you. That is just his nature and how he is. And that's not going to change no matter how much you cry, how much you say he needs to change, what you say. Stop. Nothing you say will affect Pharaoh, young Pharaoh, until maybe he becomes a 40-year-old man and see the errors of his ways. But for now, while he's in his 20s and 30s, he will not change. I'm trying to tell you about men, sister. Look, listen to me. And the public, if you listen to this. Okay? Once the other person begins to date, the one of the one of the people who are in a relationship is going to get bothered. Now, when you start trying to get serious with the person you're dating, then that's another level you're going to have to deal with. But right now, everything's play play. Right? Any woman dealing with young Pharaoh has bad intent. And she's not serious. And or she's crazy and has mental health issues. Okay? People are here for entertainment, attention, and to cause confusion and drama. Because no sane woman would be in a video with Pharaoh right now knowing what he's going through and what you're going through. A woman... A real woman would have respect for that and have integrity herself and would not be involved in that in, in videos with Pharaoh. So anybody in videos with Pharaoh, any woman dealing with Pharaoh, she's not a mentally stable woman. She can be fine, but she's not a mentally stable woman or a woman who is worthy of any kind of respect because classy ladies don't do that. Classy ladies just don't do that. So these young chicks you see with Pharaoh, they're not classy, intelligent young ladies. They're naive groupies and understand that. So young Golden, no sweat off your shoulder if you see young Pharaoh with anybody. It's not going nowhere. He doesn't even want another relationship. He just wants to play and have fun. Young Pharaoh is not relationship material for any young woman. Even if this shit didn't, he is not relationship material for any young woman. He's not ready for that. He's ready to play, have babies. He's not ready to be a father like that. It, it's it's going to take a while for him to mature, if ever. Okay? So, <laughs> sometimes you have to discipline yourself right and and when you're young and you're going through traumatic experiences and um, uh, um, life just seems chaotic that's not the time to turn to anyone else for a relationship it's time for you to get therapy it's time for you to just 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 turn in on yourself and get into you get into yourself um, um, you know, embrace science, you know, get a career and get things in life moving and stay away from the drama. Getting in the relationship will bring you more drama. So I know people have needs. I know you have needs and things like that. So you just have to understand, hey, I got needs and entertain yourself. And you may want to, you can, 
you know, I, I give realistic information. People are not just going to be celibate. They're not. People talk that shit, but people are not being celibate like they say. Unless they just tra traumatized. Okay? Young Golden, you may have needs. And may start seeing these young men. Keep it simple. These are friends. Keep it simple. They're just friends that's entertaining you. Or friends that may want to give you a back rub and a kiss and send them home. Send them cats home. Get them away from your kids. Don't be having all these men around your kids. Now, I seen you with a young man. I'm not sure if that's Pharaoh's bodyguard that he's been saying. Because I don't know y'all drama and y'all business like that. I just know what I see. I seen you with a young man. Now, he, let me tell you, I can read men well. Okay? Now, he seems like a very genuinely nice guy. Nice guy and a caring guy. I was checking him out not ready. He is somebody who you should have been with from Jump Street. <laughs> You're not Young Pharaoh. You get what I'm saying? But y'all be out here gold digging and thinking you getting something, you know what I mean? And y'all just don't. Yeah, At y'all age, you just choose wrong. <laughs> and then you pay later. You know what I mean? But he seems like a nice guy. Real talk. For my OG, he seems like a nice guy. He seems like a guy I would recommend to like my daughter or something. That's how I see. But he's not sincere about you. No, no, no. Let me clear it up. I think he's very sincere about you and likes you as a human being. Okay? But he's not ready to take on another woman's or another man's two children at this point in stage. So keep it simple and listen to what I'm telling you. Okay? I know the mind... I was a kind, nice guy when I was his and your age. Couldn't tell. But I wasn't ready for no serious relationship and take on some other woman's two children. That's another level thing. Okay? And you, you, so right now, everybody's playing house. You know, you're playing. Everybody's playing house. Don't be sitting, have no man sit next to you on a video while you breastfeeding and teasing young Pharaoh like that. It was your right. You didn't do anything wrong. But it's insensitive to his feelings. Now you may say, who gives a fuck about his feelings? Listen to what I'm telling you. That was insensitive to his feelings. And if you give a fuck about safety and the safety of your friend, don't do that. It's not going to do anything but rile him up in a fucking ball of anger like he is now. This is why young Pharaoh is going berserk and looking crazy. Because he's starting to see that she will be dating and will have other men around her and he can't take it. He will not be able to take it for the next three years. Every time he thinks you're going to get with somebody. First of all, you have to understand this. You guys are going to go through at least three different relationships. To your older. Whoever young fellows with now, whoever you talking to or flirting with, none of these people are going to be around. You're going to go through people. This is just life. It may seem like, okay, I met this person. They're going to be... Young Fer the girl you seeing in young fellows' house, he's not going to be seeing her or be around her in five years. Shit changes, people changes, people go through relationships, and people go through breakups. Divorce rate is high as hell. So I know you know you, you youngsters confused as hell with y'all bad beliefs and stuff. Y'all believe in tarot cards, kundalini, shot, all that shit is fake and you've been brainwashed. You really need to talk to a grown man. Okay? And um, get some advice. I'm, av I'm always available. And the only reason I do this is because I was a youth counselor for years and I do believe in giving back and giving advice to youth. Okay? And everyone needs them an older person or older friend or a more wise friend to talk to. And not just talk to your peers. Because your peers may not mean you well. Your peers may not have understanding of life and have these experiences to give you feedback and to answer some questions. Okay? Young Pharaoh. You got to sit the fuck down, dude. Like, for real, bro. Your mind is gone. I'm going to tell you. Your mind has been gone. 
but this exacerbates it. Understand this, young Pharaoh, and it may sound harsh or hurt your feelings, but you need to hear this reality because I wouldn't sugarcoat it. Young Golden will be fucking men over the years, and you have to understand that. This is life. You cannot control and will not control or be in charge of her like that forever. You're in charge of your children children, and being a parent to your children. Period. Whatever young Golden does, that's her thing and it has nothing to do with you. Although I understand you want her to have, if a man will be around your kid, it needs to be a proper man. But she doesn't need to be around anybody and no man needs to be around her kid for years. Until she sees somebody who's serious. Okay. So young Pharaoh, oh, she's gonna be screwing, and not and not you. Understand? My wife, ex-wife, oh, she's screwing. She ended up getting in a relationship later on with somebody else, not that guy. So she's dated several men before she met the boyfriend she got now. So it's going down. Golden's gonna be with several men. And you're going to have to accept that and understand that. This is life. You're 20-something years old. You're going to have to get over it now. You're going to have to put in your head, you know what? I made a decision to leave her, put her out and do all this. Although she's a sweet woman. Because I wanted to be wild and do my thing. And I wanted to be pol like polite. Yep, you wanted to be like polite. You're going to pay like polite. You want to wear the eye of raw on your eye like he did? Now, guess what? You'll never have a professional woman now. You'll, you'll only be left with thoughts and family, fan, fans only type women. Because no professional real woman who's about something that got a master's degree in education gonna wanna deal with you at all. The dumbest thing when you, that you did was get that eye tattoo for attention. Stupid. Trying to be hip, slick, and cool. Trying to be a rapper like. You know we see through all that bro. Stop all the shenanigans. Because nobody really cares. And you think your fans care. They don't really care. A lot of them be just laughing and co-signing you. And they ain't got shit else. They life ain't shit. So. But a real one won't tell you. Pharaoh you're fucking up bro. You got to get it together. And I'm not even saying this to piss you off. But I just don't sugarcoat. Be a parent. It may take a while. You're not in the right stage. And it's impossible to control a woman after a breakup. They're going to see other men. That's just life. You're going to have to get over it. Oh, I know what's going through your mind right now, young Pharaoh. He's screwing her. He landed. He's doing all those things I was doing to her. He's doing an in intimate business. He's going to be around my kids. Is he better than me? Is his dick better than mine? Is his, is, I know what's going through your mind. I know everything that's going through your mind, young Pharaoh. And it's okay. No, it's not okay. Control it. Control, control your thoughts and your actions and your behaviors at this point or you will be back in prison and you won't have no woman to see. You will lose it all. That's real talk. I know many cats in jail behind a woman because they tried to control the situation and thought they were God. And they realize they're not God now. Breathe. Relax. Smoke a joint. Put the goddamn mushrooms down. That's no help at all. Put the alcohol down. If you want to get, get a little buzz, stick with weed only. I'm out.